Good morning everyone. Today we have our 1999 Trophy 2802. It is repowered with twin Honda 250 horsepower four-stroke engines the year 2013. Just about 700 hours. I have to look up the hours but I think it's like 710 and 720. A lot of trolling hours. Previous owner fished it pretty good. But still nothing on these four-stroke engines. Just broken in, maybe. Uh, boat is loaded with options, and it's a big 28, guys, and we'll show you that. Up forward, we have an integrated uh, bow pulpit and factory hard top. The hard top does come with a full canvas enclosure, or at least the front curtain, two side curtains. I haven't confirmed a back curtain. Uh, we also have a Lumar windless anchor with remote on the bow, which is a nice feature on a big boat like this huge walk around cutty area that you don't have to turn around turn your feet around and walk up sideways you can definitely just walk regularly up and around the boat the boat is also loaded with electronics we haven't detailed her yet we just got her in but we wanted to get her shown for you once it warms up we will have a detail on her in the next few weeks either way because we're going to put it inside and do it here are the twin engines, twin 250 Honda engines, very quiet, used to have Mercury engines on it. This is uh, a pretty nice power package on these. Step in the boat, you also have an integrated swim platform with a fold down ladder off the back. Transom door, fish fighting door or whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, that we, you can step in off the pier and come right in the boat without stepping into the boat over the um, gunnel wall. That's a nice feature if you have some uh, people getting on the boat who don't have, are not quite as flexible as they used to be. Uh, huge aerated live well off the back. Nice little sink area. Boat comes with a raw water wash down, aerated live well, fresh water system. Two huge insulated fish boxes on both port and starboard sides. Uh, there's a nice insulated fish boxes. We have two seats. It looks like somebody customized it at one time, pre previous owner. <laughs> you can certainly get that reupholstered if you don't like the name of it. <laughs> but uh, they're there. Boat is also loaded with rod holders. As you see, you can uh, put some serious amount of rods on this boat. LED uh, light on the back there as well. There's a lot of space in the uh, in the cockpit here. Well, I'll just walk around the front of the boat, then we'll get started on the electronics. Don't want to run out of battery life here. Notice I don't have to turn around to walk forward. Some more access to your anchor or rope chain. Shore power hookup. It does have that. All your access to your bilge area in there with uh, bat three batteries and switches. You step up into the main helm area and cockpit, uh, which is a nice feature, makes you feel a little elevated. A little uh, fire extinguisher, hydraulic trim tabs. A uh, great feature about this boat is um, it has Loran upgraded Lowrance units the same year as the engines, 2013. Three units, HD7, I'm sorry, HDS8 twin and an HD7. They're integrated so that they all talk to each other. You can have radar on one, fish finder on the other, and engine controls, which engine controls are on this one right this second, on any three of these, or radar. It also comes with a Lowrance radar, which does work. So radar, sonar, GPS, offshore capable guys. Remote spot, we've got to confirm that that's uh, f functioning. I haven't done that yet. Little VHF radio, huge electronics box if you choose to use it. Um, they put the Honda keys up here. A 
So that's a cool little navigational system. It's pretty expensive to do and integrate the engines as well. Walk into the cabin. We have a huge cabin. Uh, I'm 5'10", and there's probably three inches, four inches to spare above my head as soon as you walk in. This V-berth area fills in, or this lifts up, and you can put a table there for just eating lunch or hanging out in here, the kids playing cards. Oh, you can definitely, two people can overnight in there and rest, one comfortably, two. But it also has an aft cabin area, which I'll show you in a second. You can put a something in there as well and lay down. But it also has a refrigerator, fresh water system, electric stove, um, microwave, AM, FM radio. We also have air and heat. Uh, a hot water system. Here's the control for the air conditioning or heat. That's a nice feature guys for a fishing boat this size without a generator. If you could see back in here, there's the enclosure by the way. Oh, we've got to put that hatch up. That's just access to your freshwater pump and um, probably some other, yeah, freshwater pumps and macerator pump. So that's good to gain access. You also do have, I didn't realize you do have cushions already in there. One person can lay in there comfortably. Enclosed head with a pump out. Jabsco with a freshwater sink. Plenty of space in there for some emergencies or uh, the ladies to use. Cool little boat, uh, cool big boat here, guys. For a 28, it is feels bigger than a 28. Let's just say that. Gary's going to get her up on plane and show you how she runs. But look how much sp fishing space you have back here, guys. With deep gunnels, bolster pads when you're fighting fishes. Fighting fish, not fishes. And um, flush mount rod holders on both port and starboard side. Cool little boat here, guys. We got a little bit of ice on the creek, some surface skim coat here, so we're going to do a little modified route, but uh, we'll show you how she runs. It comes with the flag that you see in the photos there. This is a, a great Chesapeake Bay boat. Will handle anything the bay can throw at it. Has offshore capability. I'd have to confirm the fuel tank size. I'm not 100% sure on that. You're watching a video on a 2802 Trophy being sold by Maryland Boat Sales, mdboatsales.com. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel after watching the video. Follow us on our Facebook page. We list all our inventory as it comes in on there and we do a video on every boat that we sell. This time of year we're trying to get it done as the weather permits but once the season hits here in March uh, we'll get them done pretty quickly
There she goes, guys. Pretty boat. Our phone number is 443-324-1368, mdboatsales.com. Thanks again for watching. Talk to you soon, and see you out on the water.